Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 9. Things continue to go surprisingly well, especially now that I've stopped, you know, killing my own people and hunting accidents over here. Um, our colony is growing, still waiting to uh, recruit Marl, who should be relatively decent. And has a pretty good chance, so it's going to happen any second now. Hmm, not this time, but soon. Uh, we set up that second stove, which I believe works exactly the same as the normal stove, it's just meant to look a little different. Oh, on this one, did we have the salads and things? No, we don't. So this stove only does normal meals. This one here also gives it the ability to produce soup or salad. Um, what I'm going to do is set up a similar job as the other one, where we do fine meals and we do simple meals. Now, I think I've got a skill lock on this one to make sure we don't get food poisoning. Um, I should probably do the same thing here, although it doesn't have to be a skill of eight. We can open it up to more workers. Let's say we use six and six. Actually, even at eight... Wait. Okay, no. Maybe it just didn't update in time. All right, six and six. We'll open it up. Three people can actually do this now. That's going to be okay. Hopefully not too much food poisoning. Um, do until we have X simple meals. So we're, our plan, I think, was to try to keep ten simple meals around. Is that what I did to the other one? Yeah, and like a hundred fine ones. There we go. So same sort of priorities. Now we'll have two people going. Sar Miller might lead to a little bit of food poisoning. I don't know. I wonder if the food poisoning chance is just the skill or if um, more advanced meals. Like, should Swarm Miller, with his skill of six, which is enough to cook a fine meal, but should he only be working on simple meals until he gets a little bit higher? I don't know if that's a thing. I'm going to hope that with a skill of six, we don't get too much food poisoning. We had some vomit kicking around for a while. Hopefully it'll go away. Got some alpha beavers. So, this should go pretty fast. All my people have uh, hunting skills. I hope they don't murder each other. There we go. We've successfully recruited Marl. Let's go ahead and rename you. I have my subscriber list open. You are going to be... Bam Sham, welcome to our little club, Bam Sham. Let me take a look at your gear. You've got a personal, uh, you're not a brawler though, are you? No. So we are gonna give you an actual armored vest, like this one here, normal quality. We'll give you a helmet as well. I think these are toques though. Where's the actual helmets? There's one. Wear that. And how's your shooting skill? It's only a three, and you don't have a passion for it, so you'll never skill up particularly quickly. I'll just give you a personal defense weapon. Thank you, everyone, who uh, let me know how much that was where we're, or what PDW meant. There you go. Decent set of uh, equipment. And you're wearing a parka, which is going to be fine for now. Groovy. We're going to kill all the alpha beavers, and again, hopefully we won't shoot each other. Um, like what might happen there. It'd be nice if you could say, only kill, don't haul back right now. Because that's what's going to happen, is when they decide to haul, they might get in each other's way a little bit. Um, that's not good. It's because Kiriko is hunting with a shotgun and has somewhat less range. There we are. Well, this is some more gun practice. Um... Hunting with the sniper rifle is actually another big part of the issue. If everyone was just using, like, PDWs or something, it might be somewhat less problematic. Oh, you're going to go and rest now. All the body. Try not to get in the line of fire. We're probably going to get a few gunshot injuries here. Can Cancer man, I'm going to turn you off for a sec. Whoa! Oh, yeah, hunting with the minigun. Excellent. Now you'll go rest. Fair enough. I don't know who you're about to hunt, but I'm concerned that you're going to hit Ms. Cole. Alright. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. What could possibly go wrong over here? And they still have these hunting jobs going on there to improve their aim. At least with better aim, they should be less likely to shoot each other. And it would help if they all had the same class of guns, so they were always at the same range. 
Yeah, well, we definitely need two full-time chefs, but oh my god, like, even with this... Now, this is maybe badly placed. There's a lot of pathfinding going on. I could put the other cook stove inside, but I don't know. And get a lot more raw meat, too, because, you know, we need more food. Although we are getting to winter time, and our colony is growing, so it can be a bit of a concern. Oh, we've got a psychic drone going on for female people in our group. And we have quite a few. Still, overall, moodlets should be mostly okay. We did execute a prisoner, but that's about it. No, I think we're going to be fine. Butcher these alpha beavers, get the food soon. We are actually gaining the number of fine meals now, finally. Getting some cleaning done. Llama, how are you doing with your shooting skill? Six. Very good. Food here has to be hauled a fair ways, but that's all right. Temperature in here is awesome. All right. Still feeling pretty good about our overall situation. Are these graves all full? Because this thing is still on. I think it can take corpses that were buried. So I'm going to assume we don't have any right now. So I'll go ahead and suspend this job. Or not, hold on. Not suspend. Turn off the power. And we will save a little bit more juice. This is probably the last harvest of the season. It's October 1st here. Most of these plants are going to die soon. It's not bad right now. It's 17 outside, but I believe it will be having some below freezing temperature. And everything will die to frost. But that'll open up more time for other jobs. I don't know why these eyeballs haven't been stored yet. It's a good thing the, um, the, the cut-off body parts never rot. I guess whatever box they get put into is, you know, refrigerated or, or something of that nature. So everyone should be equipped fully. Which is nice. We've got spare clothes. They will change from time to time. Because I've got the mod that will cause people to upgrade their clothing. Um, that will be something that's built into the game later on. But yeah, if uh, someone starts to get frayed clothing, I think they will upgrade themselves. I might be wrong. Hold on. Um, I, I think they will. And I guess I could quickly make these passes through here and see if anyone's got any little icon. The only icons I see are people who are hungry. So I guess we're fine that way. Batteries are charging. They charge relatively slow right now. We actually have a fair amount of uh, drain in our power. They charge a little faster during the day because of the solars. I could build more solar, but I'm going to wait, I think, until we finish researching. Um, the new generator type, and then we'll install a couple of those and see how it goes. Junior, how's your, uh, how's your shooting skill? You've got a skill of one. Oh, you're a brawler. Hold on. Are you still developing skills, though? You do. Oh, you don't even need a gun equipped. I guess they have their own practice guns over here. Still, you never want a gun to be installed on you. So, um, Juna, I'm going to turn off hunting for you. Bam Sham, you can have it turned on like everything else, and we will get you to prioritize hauling for now. Although, there's not that much we need. Your doctoring is actually, whoa, skill of eight is pretty good. We'll turn that on. Haul, doctor, and then maybe fill in some time with arts and crafts. All right. Also, we don't have a full-time mender anymore. Congratulations. And Juna. You can get some of that as well. And then... When you're not doing that, mostly just haul as well. Okay, we only have one mending table, so they're not both going to mend at the same time. Juna. Oh yeah, you move slow because you got a peg leg, right? Yeah. I have to get some bionics. Oh, that was right! I forgot all about that! Bam Sham is missing an arm! Left arm, Bill, install bionic arm on the left shoulder. Left shoulder, left arm. Okay, gotta triple check every time. The other thing we could do is, on one of our brawlers, like June over here, we could install that uh, scyther arm. But I don't know if that impacts your ability to manipulate. And I'd be worried about that. I guess there's only one way to find out. We probably shouldn't do it on you, because you move slow for now. But, um, Sar Miller, who's drunk... You know what, Sarm Miller? We're going to do it. We are going to install a Scyther Blade as your right hand. Now, I'm hoping, let's take a look at your health. Right now, your manipulation ability is fine, 100% efficiency. Let's find out what happens when we install a Scyther Arm. Bam Shen's going to get the uh, prosthetic. Lots of operations to do.
I mean, if it brings down Sar Miller's manipulation, it does, down to 60%. I hope you didn't have any really important skills. You were an artist, actually. Yeah, I didn't want to put it on Juna, because Juna moves slow right now. Hmm. I suppose what we could do is give you a prosthetic arm on the other arm, which would help compensate for that. It was an experiment. I wanted to see how it went. Might not have been a smart idea, but I did it. So there we go. Mending is starting up again. Lovely. Sar Miller over here. Yeah, chief artist. Although Oilen can do a lot of it soon, too. We'll go ahead and turn that up a little bit. There we go. Unforbid that. More thunderstorms. Actually have an idler. Jammers. Really? You're not cooking? Someone must be using both tables. That's fine, you can be idle for a second. We got a fire in our base over here. Oh, it's going to kill some of my cotton plants. Alright. Got rained out, no problem at all. Just basically waiting for the next disaster. Because so far, so good. Feeling a little bit bad about Sarm Miller. Being unable to art as well, since I had to install <laughs> a blade in his uh, body. Now... You're still equipped with the Plasteel Longsword. But you shouldn't need that anymore, right? Um, gear. Drop. But then it says you're not armed. I don't know how this is supposed to work. Hmm. Still too many mysteries. And I probably won't be doing the uh, Scyther Blade installation again. I realize that it does a lot of damage, but... I don't know. Is it worth giving up, like, all that efficiency? Probably not. Hey! That took a while to figure out, but it's got it done. We've got the generators. Um, I'll just keep researching stuff from cheapest to most expensive. But let's build one of these generators and see what happens. Now, I believe it's quite warm... Power. Right. Radioisotope thermoelectric generator produces electricity from uranium. Will slowly heat up the room it's placed in. Same thing. Needs a few more resources. Presumably is more power efficient. Um, I'd be worried about overheating things. You know. If we deconstruct that door. And put this generator in here. We'll go ahead and uh, dig the walls around it so that it's got some breathing room. But the idea is to use this to heat up our hydroponics. Now, I don't know how much uranium we have. Oh, we've got tons of uranium. Okay. I don't know if we dug it up or if we got it from... Uh, maybe we got it from bodies like the mechanoids. Could be. Power. Boom. Get that going over there. Medical flowers aren't being hauled anywhere. Why is that? Where would that go under? It's not food, is it? Medical drink? Well, apparently some of this does count as food. Right, okay. It's not stone blocks. Oh, Apothecaris. There we go. Turn those all on. There we are. So now people have a place to haul those little flowers again. It's nice that they actually put it in its own category. Alright, how's the heat in here? 16 degrees? It's not terribly hot. Actually, it's not as hot as I would expect it to be. Some extra power production. Now, this is using... Uh, uranium as it goes, I think. I don't know. I wonder if we have to keep loading it with uranium. It doesn't say. There's no job to basically turn it on and off. We did have to load it with 60 uranium. Maybe it just passively generates enough power by itself. That would be very nice. 
Never used this one before. It's definitely not generating that much heat. Not as much as I thought. Hmm. Oh well, we'll, we'll check up on it again soon. Still doing the research, still making blocks, still got this machining table where we're dis disassembling mechanoids. Um, the smithing bench, we were making the heavy SMGs, although it looks like well, we got a worker assigned on this Gladius job right now. I'm actually going to bring up the SMG job higher. Let's get an assault rifle in there. And a sniper rifle. Get a few more weapons in the queue. We could sell some. We might use some, depending on the quality. We'll see how it goes. Lots of armor and different things. Everyone is okay. Why is Faint got a check mark? What does that mean? You're just moving. Oh, you're idle. That's what's going on. Okay. Um, since we have some more idlers, let's unsuspend these tables. I mean, eventually they'll hit skill 10, and then they'll stop practicing anyway. And that'll be good. So yeah, we'll spend a fair amount of time getting everyone to practice their guns play until they get to level 10. Hey, we crafted a sniper rifle. That was quick. Um, did it get hauled already? Hey, Soylent Green. Check out the hive mind technology. I know, I was going to say cheapest to best, but... Uh, this might be the one we made. It's poor quality. No, we have here an excellent quality one by Juan Lynch. Awesome. Um, oh, it counts as art, actually, so you get a description. Oh, the illustration of twice sobbing uncontrollably. That's the last step. He seems to have lost a shoe. Poor guy. So we'll upgrade our survival rifle with better sniper rifles, for example. This is a poor quality one, but we could still use that. Oh, got that assault rifle. Yeah. We should probably just, like, load up with more assault rifles, because assault rifles sound like a lot of fun. Um, where was it? Ah, over here. Get a handful of those. Temperature here is still only 16 degrees. Okay, fair enough. Crash cargo pods. Alright, a little bit of leather. Game's being very gentle right now. Got those extra guns on the side over here. These who are always on during the day because they're directly hooked up to the solar panels. Which I realize the solar panels aren't feeding power into the rest of the system, are they? Yeah, they actually don't feed power into the rest of the system during the day. Huh. Because of this. What does that sound? Did you guys hear that? Like a really weird, like, was it a drill? I don't know. Alright. We still, like, our meal situation is not great. Cooking comes before hunting. Why don't we have more cooked meals? Jammers, what are you doing? Okay, well, you were doing something. But you should be cooking meals all the time. Like, I don't know why you would be anywhere else other than cooking a meal. It's your top priority job. Same thing with Sar Miller. Nothing else should ever get in your way. Just make meals. Oh, we're out of meat. We can't make any more fine meals, so we're just going to be keeping the minimum 10 um, simple meals. Alright, first of all, let's keep more simple meals around. As our backup plan. So up to 35 of those. We never want to run out of meals. Um, but yeah. Let's hope we don't accidentally kill anyone. Well... One thing I can do is spread the hunting jobs so there's only ever sort of one thing in an area being killed. 
Oh, there's so much deer over here. Let's just do a handful at a time. It'll reduce the chance of someone shooting each other. Did I mark a squirrel? Yeah, let's not bother with the squirrel. There we go. Keep the meat going so we can keep making fine meals. Put you over here. Maybe you there. Alright. Maybe one over here. Must have things on the other side of the map. Yeah, a couple of deer there. So we want lots of meat, but yeah, I'll avoid trying. No, see, someone needs uh, treatment. How badly are you hurt? Ah, you're fine. Oh, did I actually mark a turtle? Well, you're halfway to killing it, so I guess keep going. You know, turtles are awfully hard to kill. For some reason. If you started shooting it, I definitely want to finish killing it. Oh, it's another turtle over here. I have to make, be a little bit more careful with my box selection. Wow, that accuracy. Miss Cole, how's your shooting skill? You're trigger happy, so your aim is always going to be a little worse. You got a skill of 16. You're actually pretty damn good. Except for the fast shooting and the lack of accuracy. Well, we'll slowly kill it. Although Cancer Man is going to walk into the field of fire. No, I turned off the hunting. I, I turned off the hunting. Okay, apparently it doesn't reset the job. Here, shoot from a little closer up. Wow, this uh, assault rifle, not quite as accurate as I was hoping. I mean, whoa! All right, just going to cancel you then. You didn't get shot, Cancer Man, I hope. All right, now below zero. Uh, we should hopefully start to have some meat in here again. Keep making those fine meals, but we'll keep the simple meals going as well. We still have the priority on the fine meals, so as long as we have any meat, they should get done first. Hunt those. Hunt another one over here. Maybe this boar. And try to spread them out a little bit. Get a couple over there. Are you hunting with a minigun? We're going to make, like, deer hamburger over here. I was going to say, which one are you actually aiming for? I don't know. I'll unforbid these, though. Hopefully someone will come over and uh, haul these extra dead deer really fast. <laughs> Just chew through an entire herd of deer with one minigun. Excellent. And then they're still practicing this as well. I'm doing some mending over here. Hopefully some butchering. We have a handful of people with cooking. Here. Let's turn cooking on both of these as well. Uh, Faint's only got a five, so he can't actually cook at the stove. But what he can do is butcher and also make beer, which is important. How is the beer situation? I don't know if we have any hops, actually. No, we might not be growing hops anywhere. We're going to get besiegers. Okay. Well, we'll give them a second to... Get themselves in position. Go, oh, llama! Stop. Oh, that's the airdrop. Alright, we're going to put a cut in here. We'll deal with these besiegers next time. Uh, the besieger behavior will be adjusted somewhat in the, uh, the next patch. Which is, I hope, going to be... Um, um, useful. They're going to make it so I think they besiege a little less long um, in exchange for having higher siege accuracy because these are kind of annoying that you do have to go out and uh, deal with them right away. Um, everyone's sleeping right now. Yeah, we'll have to see how we deal with this next time. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.